It is the 28th of May 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruthina Sujan. These are the stories making the headlines across the country. We start of the bulletin from Jinja District. Now the Uganda People's Defense Forces is yet to pay off 4,000 pension officers. Major General David Muhozi, the Chief of Defense Forces, has said, Muhozi said, out of the 7,900 officers who applied to receive their pension, only 4,000 so far qualified to which to receive pension begin August this year. Mahoza say this follows a critical analysis of UPDF officers who are of retirement age, sick and affected while in service. Mahoza added that the other officers are still undergoing a screen exercise before they can be shortlisted to receive their pension. Let's cross over to the Karamajung sub-region where the government has embarked on opening the boundaries of game reserves in Karamoja sub-region to streamline their ownership. The move will also trigger growth when developers establish gazetted areas after decades of armed conflict that saw Karamoja remain underdeveloped. The Uganda Wildlife Authority chief waited for mountain Elgon Conservation Area, Frederick Kiza, said the areas that will have boundaries opened are Bokora Game Reserve, covering 2,145 square kilometers, and Matheniko Game Reserve, that covers 1,573 square kilometers. We move on to the news from Wakiso District, where residents of Gombe subregion with Bibanja on the land of the late Smith Mayanja have accused the Kiram Spiti Mayor Julius Matevi of hiring a gang that demolished people's houses on Friday at night. The mayor has denied being behind the demolition saying he has not been in the area recently. But Jackie Namaganda, one of the residents, says the mayor, Matevi, visited the contested land two times last week, accompanied by two unidentified people. Matevi insists he has powers of attorney over the land given to him by his late mother, Alexandria Nanchingan Subuga, and Mary Dagirira, who are the administrators of the estate of Olet James Muchibi. The land's division of the High Court is said to begin hearing the ownership wrangle. Case on August the 19th. I am Ruthina Sajay. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let us take a break and then look at what is making headlines into this copy of the New Vision. Now for those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. And those with smartphones, go to your Play Store, download the Vision Group e-paper app and access all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let us continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. From Kakumiro district, an 18-year-old woman has given birth to conjoined twins in Kasambia sub-county, Kakumiro district. Now the twins, both boys, were born on Saturday morning at Kasambia Healthy Center 3. The mother of the twins has been identified as Maureen Champayure, a resident of Nazalethi Kasozi village in Kakayo Parish, Kasambia sub-county. According to Justin Birunji, a midwife who attended to the expectant mother, the twins were both with a joined stomach and a sex organ. Harriet Kiza, another midwife at Kasambia Healthy Center 3, told the New Vision that despite the condition of the twins being okay, they contacted a non-government organization in Kakumio district, the World Vision Uganda, that offered assistance of funding the transportation of the twins and the mother to Mulago, where they are currently. Meanwhile, the absence of surgeons at Kakumido and Kakindo Healthy Centers have made it difficult for patients 
to use the theatres. Dr. Robert Sentiza, the acting Kakumyo District Health Officer, says the health facility requires at least three surgeons who would work in turns due to a number of expectant mothers who flock the maternity ward. Some, he says, require caesarean section. We close off the bulletin from Rukunjiri District. Now, North Kigeza Diocese, Kinyasano in Rukunjiri District, needs 3 billion shillings to expand the cathedral for the growing population. According to Bishop Benon Magazi, the church was constructed in 1960 when the population was still small compared to today when the population is almost 10 times. He said the capacity today is about 300 people and they want to expand it to at least a capacity of about 2,000 people. Bishop Magis revealed this on Sunday during his Thanksgiving ceremony together with his family. He was celebrating their second anniversary as Bishop of North Kigezi. The Commission General of Prisons, Canon Dr. Johnson, Biabashaeja presided over the function where a total of 351 million shillings and 900 bags of cement in cash and pledges were raised. The service was led by the bishop, Dr. Sheldon Mwesugwa of Ankole Diocese, who urged church leaders not to focus on building churches and forget to build Jesus in the hearts of the followers. Former FDC presidential flag bearer, Colonel Dr. Kizabeski, praised Bishop for bringing them together in such big numbers to thank God. That is all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.ut forward slash video.